Hello everyone, how are you? It is good to be back. Yes, we are back with our science year 2 class. So, what are we going to learn today? Are you ready? Let's check it out. Okay, boys and girls, for today's science lessons, let's get ready with your science textbook and activity book. Refer to unit 5 with the topic plants. But first, let's focus on the slides here. In unit 5, we're going to learn about the importance of plants to humans and animals and the basic needs for the seeds to germinate. Alright, you know what does it mean by the word germinate? Okay, I will explain this to you later. Alright, for the first objective, the importance of plants to humans and animals. In this activity, you can refer to your textbook page 50. We know that plants are important to humans and animals because they provide habitats, air, food, and medicine to us. Alright? So, what is, habit what is habitats, air, food, and medicines? Alright. Habitats mean an environment where an organism lives throughout the year or for shorter periods of time to find a mate. The habitat contains all an animal needs to survive such as food and shelter what about air photosynthesis and respiration are the two essential process that allow life to sustain on earth in a way they are a cycle plants help humans and animals breathe by providing us with oxygen and humans helps plants breathe by providing them with carbon dioxide meanwhile food the plants provide us foods remember so plants provide food for humans and animals also by growing fruits vegetables and grains plants also provide nutrients to livestock which many humans eat all right boys and girls as i mentioned just now plants also provide us medicine so medicinal plants are useful to keep on hand to treat common ailments we can reach for certain medical plants to relieve headaches tummy trouble and even irritation from bug bites plants can be consumed in teas used as a garnish applied topically as an essential oil or consumed as a pill do you know what are the other benefits of plants to humans all right you can leave your answer in the comment section below but here I will give you a few examples what are the other benefits of plants to humans and animals. So here's a fact. Plants provide many products for human use such as firewood, timber, fibers, dyes, pesticides, oils, and rubber. So can you find anything uh, other than this? Just leave your comment below, okay? Next, the basic needs for seeds to germinate. Alright, I told you previously, I will explain what is germinate mean. So, in Bahasa Melayu, germinate means bercamba. Bercamba. From a seeds, it germinate into plants. Okay, germinate means bercamba. So, the basic needs for seeds to germinate untuk bercamba, the seeds needs water, air, and suitable temperature. 
water, air and suitable temperature. So, why does a seed need water, air and suitable temperature? Okay, before I forget, for this topic, you can refer to textbook page 51. Alright, back to our discussion. Why does a seed need water, air and suitable temperature? So, the seed needs water because water allows the seeds to absorb nutrients from the soil fungi, but it also softens the seed's coating. Because these seeds have limited viability, the inside embryo will die without fast connection between the soil fungi and seed, a process made possible by water. Alright, the next one. Why does a seed need air? Seeds need air so that they can produce energy for germination and growth. The embryo gets energy by breaking down its food stores. Like all organisms, this is done through a process known as aerobic respiration. So, a plant also has its own respiration process it's called aerobic respiration. Next one, a seed also need a suitable temperature to germinate. Look at the third picture. Seeds require a certain temperature in order to germinate. Each plant has a specific optimum and a range within which germination will occur. The closer the temperature is to optimum, the quicker germination will occur. So, I hope that makes sense to you. Next slides. So, here's another fact. All seeds needs water, air, and proper temperature in order to germinate. Some seeds require proper light also. Some germinate better in full light while others require darkness to germinate. When a seed is exposed to the proper conditions, water and air are taken in through the seed's coat. Alright boys and girls, so I have three activities for you here. I want you to get ready with your science activity book refer to page 29 until 31. In page 29, it is very simple for you. You just match the pictures to their importance. On the left are the pictures, on the right are their importance. Okay, the one is very simple, straightforward for you. In page 30, you need to help Lisa. Right. The instruction says Lisa wants to plant some sunflower seeds. Help Lisa by coloring the basic needs for the seeds to germinate. So remember, there are three uh, basic needs of a seeds to germinate. Remember, remember that. So you can refer to your textbook or you can repeat this video if you don't remember if you uh, have to refer to the textbook please do so and the third one I will help you to get through this activity so please refer to your activity book page 31 in page 31 you will find this instruction which is a suitable place so I may soak some corn seeds in water for a day. Then he put the corn seeds in three places. He observed the changes to the seeds after a week. Alright. There are four different situations here. The first one, seed A. Amer put it in where? inside the freezer so seed a what is going to happen to seed a after a week observe the picture above so based on this picture let's observe this together answer the following question seed seed a number one seed a do you think it will be germinate it will germinate 
since I may put it in the fridge the freezer that's a uh, seed meets that uh, freezing cold temperature to germinate do you think so no it does not meet the freezing temperature so seed A the answer is number one seed A not germinate because it did not get suitable temperature okay seed A not germinate because it did not get suitable temperature that's the answer for number one not and suitable temperature please write down your answer on the line number two seed B where does Ame place seed B okay seed B Ame put it on the dry cotton dry cotton remember seeds need water to germinate so is it going to germinate on the dry cotton obviously not so seed B not germinate because it did not get water so number two not and water number three seed D seed D I may wrap it with plastic so it the seed is covered with plastic so do you think the seed B will germinate yes it will not germinate so the answer is seed B not germinate because it did not get air so the answer is not and air here all right the last one the last one i think you have you you get the idea for the answer for this question already seed c okay seed c look at here it was placed on a wet cotton all right just on the table it will get enough air and a suitable temperature also so seed c what is the answer seed c germinate because it gets water air and suitable temperature i repeat seed c germinate because it gets water air and suitable temperature so i hope you get this all done and send it to me okay and if you have any question you can put it in the comments below or you can contact me directly so that's all for now all right boys and girls that's all for our lesson today i hope you have learned something from it and also you can complete all of the tasks given so i hope i can see you in the next uh, lesson get ready stay safe keep on learning bye bye